Hey guys, it's Miharu, and we got gameplay of Crash Cove, Dingo Canyon, and Polar Pass from Crash Team Racing Nitro Field. Now, we did get three separate videos for each level, however, for the first two, I'm going to be taking a look at the split screen versus mode video that was uploaded by GameSpot. Mostly because we actually get to see bits and pieces of what we can expect the selection menu to look like. Obviously, this is just a demo, so I assume things will look different in the full game. Specifically, those character renders. While I like them, they look very much like placeholders. But there are some details here that I really like. For one, over the level names you'll notice it says what story mode area they're from. And when you select a character, they have unique animations. So in Crash Cove, the first thing you may notice, aside from the beautifully updated scenery, is the monkeys at the start slash finish line. This seems to be a recurring detail throughout each level, having an animal that represents said area above the big CTR. Monkeys in Crash Cove, an armadillo in Dingo Canyon, and a polar bear in Polar Pass. The map is also updated to show the actual character faces instead of just dots, so now you know exactly who is where at what time. And of course, I can't forget the biggest thing that caught my attention. This was just an experiment. He never said that in the original. You know what that means. New dialogue for possibly every character. This makes me so happy, especially for Engine, since he totally got snuffed and insane when they removed three of his lines. Moving on to Dingo Canyon, we see that the aspects from the warped racing levels have indeed been added to the beginning, which is a really nice touch. And there's even a train that runs above here. You know, the more that I look at it, the more it reminds me of Cottonmouth Bluff from Sly 4's second episode. Also, I forgot to mention victory animations. I love how Crash does his dance in the cart. And then we come to Polar Pass. To be completely honest, this was never a favorite track of mine, specifically because of this part where you have to jump across the gaps. Either I wouldn't make it due to not having enough speed, or I'd overshoot them due to too much speed. But anyway, the amount of detail in the environment is just astounding. I love the orange glow of the fire against the whites and blues of the snow and ice. There are cabins spread out among the cliffs, ships trapped in the freezing sea. I just love the way everything looks. It makes me quite excited to see what they've done with Blizzard Bluff. And that's gonna do it for this video. What did you guys think of the gameplay, and what levels are you looking forward to seeing next? Leave a comment and let me know. And as always, don't forget to subscribe and follow me on Twitter, and I will see you in the next video. Until then, this is Miharu, signing off.